To be the God you are You are chosen To call me your own You got times And seasons in your hands Oh, you call for light Out of darkness You don't need a man No, 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 no. God is good. He is beautiful for every situation. Libra li ketushte mahante kade. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless His holy name. Let everything that is within you bless the name of the Lord this morning. It's another wonderful morning. Give God all the glory. Give Him all the honor. Worship Him. Worship Him in the beauty of His holiness. Our God is good. Is worthy of all our praises, is worthy of all our adoration, is a God that is beautiful for every situation. Magnify Him, magnify Him and exalt His name this morning. Is worthy to be praised, is worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. 
Holy Spirit, we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for the marvelous work you are doing in our life. Thank you. Thank you for your graciousness. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for all that you have to us. We cannot thank you enough. We cannot worship you enough. Begin to appreciate God for the gift of life that you are alive this morning. It's not by your power. God out of his mercy has kept you, has preserved you and your family member. Don't take this gift of life for granted. Worship God. Give him all the praise. Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We worship and adore you for the privilege of being alive. We do not take this privilege for granted. We return all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration to your holy name. May your name alone forever be exalted. May your name alone forever be lifted up. Father, we worship and adore your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is the weapon of believer against the devil. The devil cannot stand the mention of the blood of Jesus. Shout and plead the blood of Jesus. Soak yourself and your family member into the blood of Jesus. 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 Makoshi kadagade. Ayaya bakaboka shike do stabagadai. Ayaya bakaba kosta bralike do kabade. Ayaya yamaka boka shike di abasandai. Akwate kashike do sabagadagadai. Akwate keshika dosa anto shike de. Ayaya bakaba koshi kedi agadushtai. Ayaya yamaka bakoshi kadi agadagadai. Marabo kashike do stabralike do shte mahante. Ikata koshi kadabai. Kadi kadai. Kadi kaboi. Kadi kadai. Kamashatai. Kadi kadai. Kamashi katoi. Akwate kashi kato kabai. Ikedia koshi kedia basante. Eviba kata kata mahante koshi kade. Aro kata koshi kadia baraba gadushte. Makwa kasi ke doshi kada gade. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. I soak you into the blood of Jesus. I soak your family members. I soak your property into the blood of Jesus. Begin to decree that the blood of Jesus has sent you from evil, from calamity, from disaster, from destructive play. La shengelebo kabayanda mahante ketushtai. Ayaba kaba kaboro koto koto. Ikedi akatushte mahante si kabaya. Evila boka marika takata. Ikado koshike de bosa hante maru ketushte. I pray for you that by the blood of Jesus you are exempted from evil, exempted from calamity, exempted from disaster, exempted from destructive plague. In the mighty name of Jesus, Makoshika, no evil will come near you because you are covered with the blood of Jesus. No evil will come near your family members because you are covered with the blood of Jesus. Your property will not be involved in any calamity because they are covered with the blood of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory. We worship, we adore your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Romans chapter 8, verse 14 says, For those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. You are going to speak to the Lord that God lead me by your spirit, lead me by your spirit. Today, in all my endeavor, pray that God will lead you by his spirit. In all your endeavor, pray that the Holy Spirit will lead you. The Holy Spirit will guide you in everything you will do. The Bible says, as many who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. God, the Holy Spirit wants to lead you in every area of your life. To commit every aspect of your life to the Holy Spirit today. Say, the Holy Spirit, invite him to come and lead you in your business, in your career, in raising your children. In all your endeavors today, in your, your daily transaction, pray the Holy Spirit, I surrender, I step down, I step down the control over my life, I hand over the control of my life to you, I hand over the control, the leadership of my life to you, Holy Spirit, let that be your prayer this morning, oh, ask the Holy Spirit to take over, ask him to take over, take over my marriage, take over my career, take over my life, take over the raising of my children, Open your mouth and speak to the Lord. Likaba shedekete. Submit yourself to the Holy Ghost. Declare with your mouth, I submit myself to the Holy Ghost. 
I submit myself to the leadership of the Holy Ghost. I submit myself to the leadership of the Holy Ghost. I submit my business to the leadership of the Holy Ghost. I submit my marriage to the leadership of the Holy Ghost. I submit my career to the leadership of the Holy Ghost. Li kabosa ante koshi ke doi. Akwa te ke shi kata baraba gadi ke doi. Aya ya mara makuse ke dia bayante mahanta katai. Uva baga shi ke dezi ke ke keri alagadoche. Mama mama makute ke te ke te. O kabayande mehusta bagada. Father, we give you all the glory. Daniel chapter six verse twenty two says, "God, the Lord has sent His angels, and they have showed the mouth of lion." That they could not harm me. You are going to speak to the Lord, just like God sent His angel to rescue Daniel from the lion's den. They showed the mouth of lion. The lion could not hurt Daniel. The Bible says, "The devil, your adversary, is going about like a roaring lion, looking for whom to devour." You are going to open your mouth and speak to the Lord. That God, as you send your angel to rescue Daniel, send your angel to me. Send your angel to my children. Send your angel to my family. Let them show the mouth of the lion, the devil going about looking for whom to devour. My destiny will not be devoured. The destiny of my children will not be devoured. Open your mouth and begin to speak to the Lord. That no lion will devour your destiny. Oh, declare that their mouth are short. By angelic help today, in the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth, speak to the Lord. As if God sent your angel, show the mouth of lion. Every lion that has opened their mouth to devour my career, to devour my destiny, to devour my children, to devour my future. Let your angel show their mouth. Let their mouth be shut in the mighty name of Jesus. Though we decree today that you will not be harmed by the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. Daniel said they could not harm me because the angel of the Lord has shut their mouth. Declare with your mouth today that nothing will you will not be harmed by the devil. No power will be able to harm you. No devil, no lion will be able to harm you. Li kabo sabadi kete akwata bashike de kedia baragade. Ikedi mo kashandai avaba katuste bralike do kabai. Father, we give you all the glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. The word of God says, "Whatsoever we forbid the honor shall be forbidden in heaven." It's time to forbid sickness, forbid premature death, forbid fire accident, forbid a robbery attack, forbid bad news, forbid miscarriage, forbid retrenchment, forbid kidnapping, forbid losses, forbid police case. Open your mouth and begin to forbid them. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I forbid any kind, any form of sickness in the name of Jesus. The word of God says He brought them out with silver and gold, and no one was feeble among them. No one was weak. No one was sickly. I pray, I prophesy into your life that no one will be sick among you in your family. No one will be weak. No one will be will be sick. No one will be feeble among you in your household. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will keep you in perfect health. In the mighty name of Jesus, is there anyone under the sound of my voice that is sick? I rebuke that sickness because the word of God says, "Every tree that my heavenly Father has not planted shall be uprooted and be cast into the fire." I decree that that sickness is uprooted out of your life. Receive your healing now in the mighty name of Jesus. I forbid premature death. You will not die young. Your family member will not die young. Your life will not be cut short. The life of your children will not be cut short. In the mighty name of Jesus, I forbid fire accident. You will not be a victim. Your family member will not be a victim. You will not be a victim. Your property will not be involved in fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I forbid Ambrobi attack. Ambrobi will not come near you. They will not come near you. You are going and you are coming in. They will not come near your house. They will not come near your family members. They will not come near your property. In the name of Jesus, I forbid bad news. I decree that from far and near, you will not hear bad news. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree today that good news is your portion henceforth. In the name of Jesus, I forbid miscarriage. I pray for everyone pregnant that is sound of my voice. You will carry your pregnancy to time. I come against the bad. You know how the bad. Oh, it is well with you. It is well with your baby. 
oh there shall be no complication before during and after your delivery in the mighty name of jesus i pray for those looking for the fruit of the womb in this month of good news your good news will be delivered to you your good news that you are pregnant will be delivered to you in the mighty name of jesus i forbid retrenchment you will not be sad you will not be laid off you will not be rendered redundant you will not go bankrupt ah masatoka mashite kete ovia liketo kabaya dagadige de oh your business will not fold up in the mighty name of jesus in the man of shade keke ruakata i pray for as many looking for new job i pray that in this month of good news you will receive good news of new job in the mighty name of jesus i forbid kidnapping you will not be kidnapped your family member will not be kidnapped in the mighty name of jesus i forbid losses you will not incur any loss oh you will not lose any part of your body everything god has given you that is giving you joy you will not lose any one of them in the name of jesus i decree you will make gains in the name of jesus for in jesus mighty name we are praying i forbid police cases oh police case you will not be involved in police case your family member will not be involved in police case in the mighty name of jesus begin to forbid accident Forbid accident on the road, on the sea, in the here, in the train, at Thomas School, a business premises. Pray that none of this will be your portion. Pray that it will not be the portion of your family member. I forbid accident of any kind, of any form, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. I pray for your family members. I pray for your loved ones. You will not be victim of accident on the road, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be victim of accident on the sea, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be victim of accident in the air, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be victim of accident in the train, or oh, at home, at school, at business premises, in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will wash over you. The Lord will wash over your family member. He will keep you safe in your going out and your coming in. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I read from 1 Kings chapter 5, verse 4. The Bible says, But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side. There is neither adversary nor misfortune. You are going to open your mouth and speak to the Lord. That in this month of good news, there shall be neither adversary, adversary nor misfortune. You will not experience misfortune over your children. You will not experience misfortune over the work of your hand. You will not experience misfortune. Oh, the enemy will not be able to have gain access into your life. No adversary, no misfortune in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and speak to the Lord. No adversary, no misfortune in the name of Jesus. The enemy will not gain access into your life. They will not gain access into the life of your children. They will not gain access into your business and your career in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, there shall be no misfortune. You will not experience misfortune. Your children will not experience misfortune. The Lord will protect you and preserve you in the name of Jesus. Pray that the Lord will give you rest on every side. In this month of good news, you will have rest. You will have rest of mind. Oh, over your children, you have rest of mind. God will give you rest on every side in the name of Jesus. He will give your children rest on every side in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not have any reason to panic. You will not have any reason to panic. You will not have any reason to panic. You will not have any reason to fear in the mighty name of Jesus. Makoshi Kadosta Baga. Ayaya Yamara Katiketoi, Avaba Kabikoshi Kedia Badagade, Uzani Mokashanda Maragadoshtai, Uvia Bagaga Gayaga Digede. Father, we give you all the glory. We worship and adore your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. I want you to begin to bring your personal prayer request before God. Begin to ask God specific things you want God to do for you. Don't hold back at this moment. The Bible says, Everyone that asks, can receive it. Oh, ask that your joy might be full. Mashendo ke tu kate. Ekwa tabaga baraga dai. Ayaya ya marabo katushte. Kabara ba katushte ba katai. Kabara kata kashike dosta ba yande. Asuta ba shande makabushta ba gadai. Ovi ali ba gadoshta ba yande. Kadagada kadakusha. Kayeke to katai. Kayaka to kabagade. 
Kabaka shika dosta bayandai. Uvia la bosha antaka tiketoi. Kabasi kadushte mayande gede. Usa idaba. Usa makabi dosha. Usa bakada bashike dosai. Ayamba dike. Ayamba katushtai. Ayamba kumana katai. Ayamba katike dosuke bokatai. Kutashende swata. Kadia baraka teke te kwa te. Uta kashendo sainde ke tushtai. Vava bakatike toko shike doi. Kabara bagadi gadai. Kabara bakaba yagadi gadai. Kabara kabaka shike do sabadoi. Kabaya gadige do sahantai. Uviali eketo. Akwa kata kata. Kabashi keto kata kata. Kabaka shike do kabaka shite. Kosabaga kuziaga de. Kabashi kedi abalabo sate. Mashike do stabrali kadaga de. Uzia zahindo kabashende mero keto ya. Aya ya 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 maraba do stai. Ovia libra li ke toko toko ta. Kabadi katoshi kado staba yande menusai. Ovia liba gadi gada gada. Makashi ke dosi doshen dosai. Osi ade ke tushte beru katai. Kabashi kado sa inde me kusa ante ke doi. Father we give you all the glory. For in Jesus mighty name we are praying. I pray for you this morning. I pray the Lord. I pray there shall be a turn around in your life today in Jesus' name. The Lord says to you, Behold, I will do a new thing in your life. And every year that hears it shall tingle. I decree this morning, your turn around will turn the world in the mighty name of Jesus. Your testimony will spread abroad in the mighty name of Jesus. The turning point in Joseph's life was when Pharaoh sent for him, and some changes took place in his life immediately. Immediately he was taken out of the prison and never returned there. You will receive good news that will take you out of the prison of poverty, out of the prison of barrenness, joblessness, marital delay, and everything that has limited you in Jesus' name. Joseph gained a new status. The Lord will give you a new name and a new identity in Jesus' name. I pray for you, you will receive good news that will come with immediate change of status. And, I, and identity in Jesus' name. Everything that represents prison was taken away from Joseph. His garment, his bed, and the rest. I pray for you. I pray for you this morning. The good news that will come your way. We put an end to your pain, your struggle, your toiling, lack, shame, and reproach. I decree today in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray you will be clothed in honor in Jesus' name. You will be celebrated in Jesus' name. You will become the envy of all people, I decree today in the mighty name of Jesus. Where people look down on you, from today they will begin to look up to you in Jesus' name. Your garment of shame is taken away. I pray you are lifted above others in Jesus' name. I pray today you will be celebrated. You will be recognized and appreciated in Jesus' name. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we we'll pray. Amen. I pray for you from Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. The Bible says, Being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you, we complete it unto the day of Christ. I pray for you every good work God has started in you. In the previous month, they shall be perfected this month. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that in this month, the Lord will perfect all that concerns you and concerns your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Every pro project that has been abandoned, receive grace to complete them in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever vision you have in your heart that you don't have power to accomplish, this month the Lord will release power of accomplishment upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. In every area this year, you will find this month you find fulfillment in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing will be impossible for you to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory. I pray for you that the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Receive peace in your marriage, in your home. Receive peace over your children. You will have peace. I declare that peace of mind will be your portion in the name of Jesus. You will not have reason to run a task. 
Father, we give you all the glory. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying.